All right, we're going to go ahead today and I'm going to show off the uh, silver stacking that I've been doing the past uh, six months or so. Um, I inherited a little bit from my father when he passed, but uh, you might know if you've watched a couple of my other videos. I'm trying to get the hang of this YouTube thing. I haven't made that many videos, but I figured this would be a good attempt to show off some silver and uh, just uh, try to keep track of my own stacking and, uh, and where I've been and where I'm going. Uh, as you know, probably from other videos too, I collect knives and watches. So I'm a big uh, knife and watch guy and uh, also stack some silver from time to time. So I figured I'd show you that. So let's go ahead and get started here and start looking at some of this stuff. Um, obviously, uh, you all know what this is. So I can get a good picture there. Gotta love the Silver Eagles. Uh, so 2016, but uh, they're just beautiful coins. I always pick these up when I can, um, especially at you know under spot or below spot. Usually you can get them for about 20 bucks or so. But next one here is a nice uh, old slab PCGS circulated uh, Morgan. If I can get a good light here, just 1921 S. Uh, but these are getting harder and harder to find. Um, in these old slabs like this, so they're a little bit, um, there we go, a little bit sought after, so, and if anybody, uh, wants to buy anything in this video, please, uh, don't hesitate, just send me an offer, tell me what you want, uh, I'm not married to any of this, I love my constitutional silver, but, um, if you need something to complete a collection or typeset, just let me know. Uh, and there's just a couple Morgans that I've got out of a tube. I don't have that many. I'm always after some more. I love Morgans. I wish I had more of them. There we go. 1885. I don't think that's a mint mark now. Uh, 89. Yeah, 89 What's this one? 88 O. Um, I'm not going to go through all my coins like this, but the Morgans, I think, deserve attention because they're beautiful coins. Uh, 1921, let's see, just a normal. And lastly, a little bit slicked up here, uh, 84. And, yeah. So, I don't have that many Morgans, probably like five or six. Um, but, like I said, always looking for those. They're beautiful coins. They're collectible and usually you can uh, you can sell them when you need to next we're gonna look at a tube of uh, peace dollars that I've got <clears throat> like Morgan's Oop. I uh, I love me some peace dollars so uh, let's see if I can get this thing to focus in here there we go all right 1925 with some toning nice peace dollar a little dirty but Beautiful coins in general. Another 1925 uh, peace dollar there. Oh, sorry, folks. Having a little trouble here. There we go. 1924. 24. 24. Dark, dark, <clears throat> dirty peace dollar there, but. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh. Still in good shape though. I mean, look at the look at the lines there. It's it's really good actually. Uh, beautiful coin nonetheless, and all of its grime and glory there. What else do we have here? If I can get this thing to focus. There we go. 1923. 23. 22. 22 and 22 so just a couple piece dollars no key dates that I'm aware of but uh, like Morgan's uh, always stacking piece dollars when I can um, recently at an auction I picked up this uh, pretty sweet a little over four ounces silver uh, Simon Bolivar uh, 1973 Panama 20 Balboa coin and this thing is a proof and it's just gorgeous I mean it's sterling silver 925 as you see there um, it's 
heavy and it's huge. Uh, for those who don't haven't seen this before, um, this is in comparison with the Silver Eagle. I mean, it's a massive coin, just massive. But beautiful nonetheless. Picked this up for a good deal at auction. Uh, couldn't pass it up. Silver, silver. Uh, we've got a couple. I'll go over these and then the rest will just be tubes. Um, we've got a couple. I just put a couple of these in here just to have. I thought we were in good condition. A 40 percenter, which people hate, but hey, silver, silver. I'll take them all day long. Uh, people love these. The Walking Liberty halves. 1942 looks like. Ben Franklin half, 90%. And the JFK, 64, which are 90%. Here's one that not many people have or collect, I don't think, but they're awesome, awesome coins, I think, uh, and very underrated. Uh, there are these big uh, Eisenhower dollars that have the S uh, from certain dates, but just be careful with these. A lot of these are mistaken for silver, and I actually recently talked to a guy on eBay who was selling this as silver and you know I got some more pictures from him and looked at it and it in fact was not silver so be careful out there when you're buying especially Ike dollars uh, but this one's 40% silver and about 25 grams worth so it's just a great coin I'm always looking for more of those but um, if you have to have it let me know and we'll make a deal this is a cool looking piece dollar that's just I just thought it was cool it's <laughs> obviously dark and dirty oh man lost here we go but uh, it was in good condition nonetheless uh, you know as far as this the slick goes um, uh, this was a Regina uh, Elizabeth forget which country I think England let's see oh Bermuda whoops 1959 uh, one crown Bermuda coin but that's uh very nice coin. Sterling silver, 28 gram weight. I mean, it's just not in great condition, but uh, it was nice. I picked it up for a good price. 90% uh, silver, 5 franc. Of it. Unfortunately, it has a hole in it, but still a good coin. Really sweet. Uh, 1828, I believe, or so. Awesome designs. Um, then just your straight up Morgan, 1898. Uh, 1892 Morgan and 1886 and 1896 so that's all that I have on sleeves um, just got a tube of war nickels not that many maybe like I don't know eight or so always looking for those nobody wants them I want them uh, let's see what these are uh, we've got walking Liberty quarters here standing Liberty I mean uh, don't have very many but looking for those. Uh, we've got Washington's all pre-64 there. A tube here of pre-64 Washington's. Uh, got uh, Barber, Barber quarters. I like these. Uh, it's a shame that they're really hard to find them in good condition, but um, they're really beautiful coins. See if I can get that to focus here. Look at that. A couple of these are really nice. None of these are in great shape, but they're still cool. So if you're after barbers or need a certain date, let me know. I'm not going to go through them all. but uh, Then we've got uh, our dimes, 40 or 90% dimes. These are barber dimes. I'm not going to take them out, but just a little tube of those. Um, Mercs dimes, they call them Mercs. Love, love these. Wish I had some more. Um, a whole nother roll of Mercs. Uh, they're just they're really good looking dimes and they're they're collectible. Uh, we got Roosevelt tube, rosy dimes. They're all 90%. Then we get to the half dollar 90 percenters. Uh, your barber halves, which are really nice looking. Again, they're hard. Anything barber, it seems like it's just hard to get unslicked. But got a couple of those. Um, I know a lot of people really love these Standing Liberty half dollars. I've got eh, a couple of those, always after more, but I'm not going to pay a premium for them. I'm going to try to get them just like any other coin uh, at spot or below if I can somehow. Uh, let's see what else. What's in this roll? Oh, yeah. 64 Kennedys. Love these. They're just awesome coins. I mean, 
nice to play with and they're just beautiful. I mean, 1964 was the year, I think, to get Kennedys. Um, and I'm going to refute that statement in a minute when I show you all the 40% Kennedys that I have. Franklin's, another great collectible. Um, everyone's after these now, I think, and that's a good thing. So uh, I'll take them, but not looking for them. Uh, and then, I'm not going to go through all these, but everything you see there are all 40% Kennedys. So rolls of 20. Uh, you know, people hate these, and I, I'll i get them if they are cheap enough. Uh, otherwise, you know, just like anything else, you just get a good deal on it. They are 40% silver, so obviously they take up more space <laughs> for the same amount of silver. But, um, but yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe someday I'll trade them in, the value-wise, towards 90% coins. I don't know. Right now, if I can find them for a good deal, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get them. And uh, speaking of a good deal, these six that I have right here. Oops, just dropped one. Sorry about that. These six that I have right here. Uh, always ask your bank what they have behind the counter because sometimes when you go in there, they're gonna have these. And the lady I asked, I said, "Do you have any half dollars?" She said, sure, and pulled out six <laughs> 1968 40% silver halves. So I got them all for face value, 50 cents each. Um, and these are all just really good condition. So not that that matters too much, but yeah, I mean, they're not slick. They're not rough. I mean, nothing's wrong with these. They're just fun to play with. So anyway, always ask your bank. That's a little tip. Um, and you know you can get something out of it but for now uh, I'll keep the 40 percenters and uh, I'll keep looking for them so like I said uh, well that kind of wraps it up like I said uh, if you have anything that you're after or you want to buy just let me know I'll gladly let a few coins go here and there so if you're if you have to have something like you know if you want this for your collection it's a you know a vintage PCGS slab then you know, let's talk. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not married to it. I like it, but um, I'm always after trying to sell some coins to get more. So just let me know. Obviously, uh, I'll make some other videos here soon. Try to try to do a state of the stack video. I'm gonna call it. Uh, you know, once a month or so, just to see where we're at, and uh, hopefully, I can pace myself. Uh, unlike watches, where I just tend to want to buy them all at once. <laughs> so anyway. Thanks for bearing with me, and uh, let me know what you want to see next. Thanks. Bye.